So this is also another uh, epicyclic train that appeared in the uh, in James uh, uh, book on elements of mechanism, page 398, that is problem 11 to 26. So in this problem, we have uh, a fixed gear 6, and there is an arm that carries gears 2, 3, 4, and 5. So uh, with this uh, given, uh, gear 2 is rotating 38 times. We do have to determine the rotation of the arm. Actually, the answer is negative 32. But we have to uh, calculate it. We have to show it uh, to show that this is the answer. So we'll have to do it by the uh, easiest and uh, most uh, understandable pro approach, and that is the tabulation method. So uh, we have to have a column, a column for the arm, a column for uh, we uh, we can just have a column for body two or gear two, and then a column for six, which is fixed, and two is plus right here. So as a first step, we have to lock them all together and rotate the epicyclic train. But uh, what we have to do that uh, to do is that uh, when we have to rotate the epicyclic train, we have to give it a certain rotation. But, but we do not know the number of rotation. In fact, uh, that is what we have to find out. And uh, the next step is that uh, to uh, fix the arm and rotate the whole body, the rest of the epicyclic train. Although, although of course, gear 6 is fixed, we have to imaginary to uh, do it as if uh, it is, rota it is uh, rotating. Uh, but it is only in our calculation that we have to do that. So uh, since uh, 6 is fixed, we have to uh, give it uh, a zero as a final rot rotation. But uh, of course, when we have to have a gear, uh, a fixed arm, we have to have zero here. And uh, the final answer, of course, is that the arm has to rotate n sub a. And uh, n sub 2 has to rotate 38. Uh, 38 times as a final number of rotation. So if we have to have uh, uh, right, uh, 38 here, it has to have a certain uh, plus 38 minus Na. So Na plus 38 minus Na gives us 38. So if, with that, we can now determine the rotation of 6. So the rotation of 6 is equal to this 38 times Na multiplied by 24 over 80 multiplied by 18 over 15 and 30 over 105. So with this, we have yet to determine the sign. So if this is uh, our rotation in the positive direction, this will be in the negative, this will be in the positive, positive, and this is positive. So this is positive. So with this, we have to add it into this, and uh, we must have a certain value, a certain equation which must be equal to zero. So uh, uh, the final answer, of course, if we have to add this with this and equate it to zero, is this value. I think that will have to be your own exercise. <laughs>